Hello, and welcome to Lexicology, the study of words. In this mini-lecture, I'll discuss meaning change and how it's often related to how we categorize words. Many semantic changes can be traced to the structure of a word's meaning. What I mean by this is that often we can look at the etymology of a word and see how it evolved the way it did. For example, the word toilet. The original word referred to the cloth cover of a dressing table. Then, all of the items that were used in dressing. Then, the dressing room itself. Then, the lavatory and washroom. And now, the commode itself. There seems to be an inner logic to this transition in meaning. Often, this logic can be described in terms of categorization. And often, this categorization can be seen in hierarchical structure. In this example, we've gone from a very specific object to greater generality and then back to a specific object. We can talk about categorization in terms of the relations between words, and the relations are often described in terms of hierarchical structure. I'll talk a little bit about hierarchical structure because it plays an important role not only in linguistics, but in any field you pursue. Although the initial meaning of hierarchical structure had to do with the ranking of angels in their holy order, our current meaning has come down to earth a bit. We usually experience hierarchical structure in the form of organization charts, or org charts, where I can figure out who's the boss of me. Or in biological systems, where we can classify organisms by their similar traits. As an aside, do you know the mnemonic acronym to remember this biological taxonomy? King Philip came over for good spaghetti. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Ooh, that's a good one. We can even see this sort of structure in our family trees. But in all cases, we can summarize the structure as showing that each entity, except for the top level, is subordinate to one other entity. Hyponymy is the kind of relation. In this diagram, we can see that fungus, lichen, shrubs, and trees are all kinds of plants. They're all hyponyms of the category plant. The hierarchical relationship can be extended as far as you like. Remember, you must have more than one hyponym for any category. Otherwise, the hyponym and the category are identical. Meronymy is the part of relation. In this diagram, we can see that the roots, the trunk, and the crown of a tree are all parts of a tree. Unlike hyponyms, they are not types of trees, but are parts of trees. Summing up, not all of the words in a language fall neatly into these relation schema. But as you continue to analyze words, be sure to consider their context as you figure out how and why they've changed. Remember that word meaning can change drastically. We've seen several examples throughout this course. Sometimes meaning structure provides clues as to how a word evolved. Hierarchical structure is a concept that will help you organize your thoughts as you expand your vocabulary and look for word relations.